by Amazon and Amazon in general. Uh, Timo, the creator of it, has been expanding the Productor Chrome extension like crazy. It has been growing like he's just added a whole bunch of new features, including research specifically for Amazon Ignite um, and a four page roll up and a whole bunch of other things. So I sent him a message and I said, hey, um, I originally asked him if he would do an interview and he was worried about his English. Um, I say, Timo, come on, I'll figure out a way we'll make it work. Maybe not live if that makes you feel better. But um, I asked him, what are the features that uh, you really want people to know about? Because I kind of wanted to do an overview video again. And so he sent me a message and we'll take a look at that here quick. Um, so here's a couple of the things that he told me about. Number one, a cleaner dashboard. Number two, research contents from up to four pages into one sortable page. So when you're searching on Amazon, um, it's got pages and you, and you know, information maybe that you wanna see is on maybe four pages deep. This feature is gonna let you sort and dig down um, up to four layers deep for uh, your research. And we're gonna play with some of these here in a little bit. Also research for Amazon Ignite contents, right click from the dashboard. Uh, deleted and removed designs are displayed and you can now edit and relist them. Um, it might be necessary to update your database. You can either wait until Productor does for you or you can hit manual refresh. Uh, if you want to save a removed design as a Productor draft, just open it with edit and click save as Productor draft. Uh, ASIN only export for those who are not familiar with CSV or AMS um, import and export. So you can export all your ASINs if you're just running through and uploading to Amazon uh, advertising. But there's a bulk up upload feature where you can just literally create one uh, upload and create an ad for every product in your library. Um, previous year comparison now for the statistics graph. AMS bulk export for manual campaigns, including long tail keywords. And uh, uh Bulk delete seems to be pretty popular for people is what he told me. So let's take a look at some of these features here that he uh, told us about. Number one is a new cleaner dashboard. Um, let's see here. I don't care. I think uh, I can turn this off. It makes it a little bit less clean if I turn. Where's the blur button? It took me a minute to find it earlier. I don't normally have it blurred. There we go. Okay. Maybe. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. My computer's frozen. There we go. So you can see your today's sales, uh, total sold products, uh, products with reviews, any if you have Amazon choice, um, uh, average days until first sale. And uh, then we have all time sales, previous month, and uh, current months, previous seven days, last seven days. You can also now click on uh, statistics. Come here to statistics and your database is loaded the database used to take a little bit and it's way faster now so great job with that and i'm sure a lot of you guys appreciate that and hey Dwayne, glad to have you in chat uh for those of you guys who watch on replay a lot i do stream these live and um so those of you guys are here you can join me in chat i've stopped displaying the chat on here mostly because am youtube's policies i could maybe be held liable if someone says something inappropriate in there so I don't necessarily want to do anything bad for my channel. So I'm working on figuring out some ideas with that. And if you haven't yet, also guys, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Okay, back to the statistics. So statistics here, it's going to show you your last year versus this year's sales graphs. Um, so you can kind of see how your year went. And you can look at your products sold by date, products sold by um, whatever sort of features that you want to go through. You can take all sorts of actions on these. You can edit the product. Um, and then there's the Productor Manage page. And this, you can do quite a bit as well. Also, as well, just directly from your Manage page. Hey, Brahim, good to see you in here. Running a little bit slow right there. Um, so tell me, what are some of your guys' goals for 2020? What do you want to do? Uh, and what are you hoping to succeed with for 2020? Let, leave a comment in the uh, comments afterwards, after you've hit that like button. Um, all right, so this here, you can come right here. It's going to give you all sorts of information. Days until removal, design products in the countries, and um, 
come over here you got all these buttons you can edit the product you can copy the product's information to clipboard you can export the product to excel you can delete it you can save single product as productor draft and what a productor draft is is just stored in your browser as a draft um, you can relist it you can relist as new and delete the current one you can refresh the product in the database if you, you want to make sure its sales updates and everything are updated um, you can just simply download the design you can convert it to a hoodie size convert it to a transparent background pop socket convert it to a pop socket with a black background um, here is searching for copyrights using tsm hunt or tm hunt and the uspto you can share it on facebook twitter pinterest all sorts of information here um and also from in here there is tons of filtration options clear your filters you can select all of this sort of information to look at preview status type asin brand title bullet price focus keywords reviews reviews rating um category marketplace design product types design product countries sold all time and all sorts of information here so you can export the designs um you can even export them uh specifically for ams like i said earlier and come back to the productor dashboard there's a cool little search feature in here that will let you go right to doing your amazon research now this is the other parts i really wanted to show you guys uh on the research part that's gotten way better and uh has done some really cool stuff here so right here you can select your marketplace you can do u.s standard t-shirts pullover hoodies tank tops v-neck long sleeve search for any product type and you can also select amazon ignite products oh i hit refresh there e-shirt labs you got your first reject it happens dude it happens learn from the mistake and this is a big one for people and i don't know if you guys saw it on there i currently i've got 26 in there from uh going through and relisting old designs i put a couple of them up and i had an issue in some old keywords it happens but stop what you're doing look at what you did learn from the mistake and then get back to work it's done it's over with you can't take it back it happened learn from the mistake and don't repeat it that's very important with any of these platforms that you don't own whether it's youtube amazon etsy ebay wherever you're selling wherever you're trying to um earn a little bit of a living online you have to follow their rules and sometimes you make mistakes make sure that you learn from the mistakes and that you don't repeat them okay so let's go where did i hit the there we go director dashboard that's what i did i hit the back button <sighs> live video problems live video problems so uh brahim got approved by merch that is awesome and he's also into kdp now great job man that's awesome so let's take a look and do some research. I just was thinking I wanted to do some standard t-shirts. So right there, it just clicked and brought up the top results of standard t-shirts. Just did the basic search for all of the um, types of things that are gonna bring up the top sellers. So we're gonna let this load just a moment and you can see what it's doing right here. It's pulling the top focus keywords and the top suggested keywords and the top long tail keywords. Now, I could have also typed in a search value here. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Got too many windows open. All right, I could have also typed in a search value if I wanted to just do one thing. So there you guys saw a shirt that just sold a uh, rescue dog. So let's say I wanted to look for just rescue dog shirts. Now I sold one, so it's always a good idea to try and come back in and uh, put more into the niche. So it's over a thousand results for rescue dog um it takes just a moment here uh if you have if you're running other chrome extensions it may take a little bit longer if you're running like uh, ds amazon quick view or things like that um and i think that's uh just it's something you can tolerate trust me all right so we have top long tail keywords top focus keywords you can copy these to a clipboard you can look at this pagination is disabled so let's say I wanted to look, I don't know, five pages deep. 
it'll pull the information for five pages of Amazon search results, all into that information. Now, he just released the uh, five, the four um, pages of results, but I think there is a lot of information here. And Christine says, I like how info informative you are and the feeling I get. Man, if you guys are getting any value out of my videos, if they're helping you in the least little bit, that's the part that makes me happiest. I'm never gonna claim to have all the answers. I'm just here trying to share with you guys what sort of information I'm learning. And because I talk about it, more people share more information with me, which lets me share more with you guys. And it's a great way to grow. And that also means a great way to grow is make sure you hit the like button for the Amazon algorithm. Seriously, guys, hitting that like button helps out more than anything else you guys can do. And I do appreciate you guys being here. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications. And I think I'm going to call that good because most people quit watching about five minutes ago. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.